Family, I know you're either here because you want to know if this is a prank, if I wrote the title incorrectly, or just out of curiosity. Well, you didn't read it wrong. The question for this week is, are unicorns mentioned in the Bible? Now you might be asking yourself, I read the Bible cover to cover five times. How is it that I missed it? Now, as you might have guessed it, this won't be a long video. However, I do want to explain why some people believe this to be true. That's right. There are people that believe that unicorns are talked about in scripture. Besides, who knows if one day you'll run into someone that believes this. I'm sure you'll want to know how to guide them in the right direction. The reason some believe that the word unicorn is in the Bible is because it is. In the King's James 16:11 translation, let's start with Numbers 23, 22. It says, God brought them out of Egypt. He hath as it were the strength of a unicorn. Deuteronomy 33, 17 says, His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of a unicorn. Job 39, 10 says, Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow, or will he harrow the valleys after thee? Don't worry, there's only two left. Hang with me. Psalms 29, 6 says, He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. And last but not least, Isaiah 34, 7, which says, And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. I gotta say, I can't tell you how appreciative of those that took the original Greek and Hebrew and translated it to make it easier to read. Just gotta remember, that's how people spoke in those times. Anyways, so let's go to the Hebrew text and see why they're using the word unicorn. The Lexham Bible Dictionary gives us some insight on this. It says that it comes from the Hebrew word riam, which refers to a kind of ox. Now, the translation of it being a one-horned animal probably came from the Greek translation of the Bible, which is called the Septuagint. The term they use is monokeros. Also, in the Latin translation of the Bible called the Vulgate, riam was used interchangeably for a unicorn and rhinoceros. Eventually, those that translated the King James Version used unicorn for riam, and then as time passed, people realized that the term riam, specifically in Job 39, 9-10, was this animal that plowed, and that wouldn't make much sense for that to be a unicorn, so moving forward, it was known as an undomesticated ox. Crazy, huh? When I heard this a while back, I told myself, I gotta research this. And what better place than here, right? Anyways, all scripture and key points from this video will be in the description. Also, I'd like to know if any of you have heard of any other creatures like this or something as odd that some people say is in the Bible. That'll make for an interesting video. Just let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you want to be notified when I do post videos, don't forget to lightly tap on the subscribe button and poke that bell icon. As always, let's finish by praying Psalms 1914 to God. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Until next time, family, God be with you.